One of the driving forces behind the Philippine economy is its significant foreign reserves. According to the latest World Bank data from 2021, the Philippines boasts about $108 billion in total reserves. This impressive figure places the country among the largest reserve holders in Asia. However, this number often sparks debate. Critics argue that $108 billion is relatively low, especially when compared to economic giants like Japan or China. Even within Southeast Asia, neighbors like Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia have higher reserves. Thailand, for example, holds over $246 billion, more than double that of the Philippines. Despite these comparisons, there's a compelling case for why the Philippines' reserves are sufficient and often underappreciated. While it may seem to lag behind, the country's reserves play a crucial role in maintaining economic stability and supporting growth. So let's take a closer look at why these reserves matter and how they impact the Philippine economy. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the significance of these reserves and what they mean for the future of the Philippines. If you find this insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Here's why the debate on foreign reserves shouldn't be just about the sheer amount a country holds. While having a large number of foreign reserves is crucial, it's more important to consider their adequacy in facing external shocks. This factor often gets overlooked when discussing foreign reserves, yet it's vital for understanding a country's economic stability. Take the Philippines, for example. Despite concerns about its foreign debt to countries like China and Japan, the Philippines maintains substantial foreign reserves. These reserves are more than sufficient to cover its foreign debts, ensuring that the country remains economically secure. To truly grasp the significance of the Philippines' foreign reserves, let's look at a key data point from the World Bank's 2021 report. It highlights the total reserves in months of imports metric which measures how many months a country's reserves can cover its imports. By this measure, the Philippines stands out with the highest reserves among Southeast Asia's largest economies. Understanding this context sheds light on why the Philippines' foreign reserves are not just adequate, but strategically positioned to support economic stability. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the implications of these reserves and what they mean for the future. If you find this insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. As of 2021, the Philippines holds about 10 months' worth of total reserves in relation to its imports. In comparison, Thailand has around 9 months, and Vietnam only has 4 months. This data point is crucial, as it indicates how well the Philippines can withstand economic downturns. For example, recent commodity shocks have caused oil and gas prices to soar, straining the Philippines' importation. However, the country's substantial foreign reserves have allowed it to navigate these challenges effectively. Beyond imports, another critical factor highlighting the strength of the Philippines' foreign reserves is its external debt. According to the World Bank, the total reserves as a percentage of external debt show how these reserves are used to manage and pay off foreign debt. Understanding these aspects underscores the robustness of the Philippines' foreign reserves, showcasing their importance in maintaining economic stability. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into what this means for the future of the Philippines' economy. If you find this engaging, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights. When you borrow in US dollars, you have to repay in US dollars, and the risks involved can be disastrous. Foreign debt has caused the downfall of many economies worldwide, including the Philippines in the early 1980s. That crisis was a stark reminder of the importance of having substantial foreign reserves relative to external debt. As of 2021, the Philippines' total reserves stand at about 102.2% of its external debt, which is higher than both Vietnam and Indonesia, and only behind Thailand. This statistic is crucial in understanding that the Philippines is in a relatively strong position regarding foreign reserves. Foreign reserves are vital for a country's economic stability. The larger the reserves, especially in comparison to foreign debts and imports, the more stable the country tends to be. History has shown us multiple instances. Aside from the 1980s Philippines crisis, where inadequate foreign reserves led to economic downturns, stay with us as we explore more about the importance of foreign reserves 
and what they mean for the Philippines' future. If you find this insightful, be sure to like and subscribe for more updates. A prime example is the 1997 Asian financial crisis, where massive capital outflows from Southeast and East Asian economies led to widespread bankruptcies and empty foreign reserves. Governments and private corporations alike faced financial ruin, prompting the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to issue tens of billions of dollars in emergency loans just to keep them afloat. High foreign reserves are crucial for maintaining investor confidence and creditworthiness. For instance, the latest S&P credit rating gives the Philippines a triple B plus rating, placing it higher than Indonesia and Vietnam and on par with Thailand. This rating is also better than other newly industrialized countries like Mexico, South Africa, and Brazil. Despite these strengths, many Filipinos don't fully appreciate the significance of their country's foreign reserves. Understanding this can change the narrative and highlight the Philippines' robust economic position. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the importance of foreign reserves and what it means for the Philippines' future. A common misconception about the Philippines' foreign reserve centers on its trade industry. Many believe it's a disaster because the country imports more than it exports. For instance, in 2022, the Philippines had a trade deficit exceeding 50 billion US dollars, indicating it imported far more goods than it exported. This seems alarming, but there's more to the story. Despite this significant trade deficit, the Philippines has consistently maintained a positive balance of payments, a measure of the inflow and outflow of money. This means that even with a trade deficit, the country has seen a steady increase in its foreign reserves. Several key factors contribute to this, often overlooked by those focusing solely on merchandise trade. For example, the Philippines is a major player in the business process outsourcing BPO industry. While the country imports more goods, it exports more services, helping to balance its payments. Understanding these dynamics is crucial. The growth in foreign reserves, despite the trade deficit, highlights the Philippines' robust economic framework and the importance of looking beyond just the trade balance. This comprehensive view reveals the country's true economic strength. Stay tuned as we uncover more insights into the Philippines' economy. If you find this content informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. A major contributor to the Philippines' foreign reserves is the booming call center industry, which brings in billions of dollars annually. According to the latest data from the Central Bank of the Philippines, the service surplus reached about $10 billion in the first nine months of 2022. While this isn't enough to completely offset the substantial deficit in merchandise trade, it plays a significant role in balancing the payments. Another key factor is the remittances from overseas Filipino workers, which amounted to $36.1 billion in 2021. These remittances, combined with the earnings from the BPO sector, provide a substantial boost to the country's foreign reserves. Additionally, the Central Bank of the Philippines' prudent monetary policy has been instrumental in managing capital flows and building up these reserves. This careful approach has helped stabilize the economy despite the challenges posed by the trade deficit. Understanding these factors highlights the resilience and strength of the Philippine economy. The combination of service exports, remittances, and sound monetary policy underscores the country's ability to maintain healthy foreign reserves. Stay tuned for more insights into the Philippine economy. If you find this content engaging, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. When we discuss the foreign reserves of the Philippines, it's essential to recognize the significant roles played by service exports and overseas Filipino workers' remittances. These factors not only mitigate the impact of the substantial merchandise trade deficit, but also bolster the country's overall foreign reserves. This financial cushion enhances the Philippines' resilience to external economic shocks, providing a safer economic stance. However, it's important to acknowledge that the Philippines cannot rest on its laurels. While the contributions from services and remittances are vital, addressing the merchandise trade deficit remains crucial. Relying solely on these sectors is not a sustainable long-term strategy. This video aims to dispel the misconception that the Philippines is in a dire economic position due to its low export levels. It's a one-sided view that overlooks the diverse elements shaping the Philippine economy. 
Understanding the broader economic landscape reveals a more balanced and optimistic picture. Stay tuned for more insights. And don't forget to like and subscribe for updates on the Philippine economy.